Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to recognize SSAB Steel for pay taking a big step toward a more sustainable future with SSAB Zero Steel. SSAB is the largest producer and supplier of steel plate in North America, and their facility in Muscatine, Iowa, in my district, is the first in the world to produce steel with zero emissions from the source without any credits or offsets. SSAB Zero Steel is made using recycled, as almost all steel in America is 98 percent recycled, and it's produced with biogas and renewable electricity. Rollout of zero emission steel will continue through 2023 with the goal of having a wide range of products available to meet the increasing demand for environmentally friendly alternative. SSAB Zero is an important step in their efforts to lead the steel industry to a decarbonized future by creating an emission-free value chain for their customers. We are proud to have such an innovative company pursuing climate neutral solutions in Iowa as Iowa is doing as a whole and wish them the very best as they continue to lead the industry to a cleaner, healthier future. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to speak about the HELP Copays Act. Too many patients are seeing large copays at the pharmacy counter because pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs accumulator programs. PBMs are the middlemen in the distribution chain between drug manufacturers and pharmacies and were originally designed to help negotiate with manufacturers to lower costs for patients. Unfortunately, we are seeing patient assistant programs being abused by PBMs. Patients often receive drug coupons from manufacturers for high cost medicines to reduce their out of pocket spending. But PBMs, who are also the the insurer, in many cases, do not allow the coupon to apply towards the patient's deductibles. This is not the proper role of insurance. Health benefits should be serving patients, not their shareholders, at the expense of patients. The Help Copays Act would put an end to these abusive practices and improve patient access and affordability by requiring insurance plans to apply patient assistance towards their copay. There simply can't be a discussion on lowering health care costs for patients without addressing the role of middlemen. Banning the use of copay accumulators is a ready-made policy to do just that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.